Hello and welcome to Maulana Azad National Urdu University. Today's lesson is Unit 2 of English Communication Skills, your course on Ability Enhancement Compulsory Course. This course is a compulsory course for students enrolled in first semester of BA, BSc and BCom. In the last class, we introduced you to the classification and description of vowels. In today's class, we are going to look at the two types of vowels and we are going to practice uttering the sounds of all these vowels. On your screen reflected are the two types of vowels. We have monophthongs and diphthongs. Monophthongs are 12 and there are 8 diphthongs. To understand monophthongs, it is easy to know that a monophthong is a vowel with a single sound. The position of the tongue does not shift. Monophthongs are also referred to as pure vowels. Let us look at the 12 monophthongs one by one. As I try to utter the words, please repeat after me for practice. On your screen, you will see the symbols for each of these sounds. Remember the symbol and practice how to utter the sound. The word read. This is a long sound like you have in Hindi. E, e, u, u. Similarly in English, we have some vowels, monophthongs, which could be long or which could be short. The first word that we are taking as example here is read. It is a long monophthong. Other example words are eat, each, easy. Repeat after me, please. Concentrate on the vowel sounds. Read, eat, each, easy. For easy, you will concentrate on the first vowel sound, not the last vowel sound. Easy. We now move to bid. Here you can notice the sound is very short. Bid, ill, if, kick, city, easy. We have looked at easy as two examples. One, when the vowel is long and the other when it is short. Easy, easy. The first sound and the last sound. There is a difference. We continue with our examples of monophthongs. Another short vowel is in the word bet. Other examples, enter, edge, end. Concentrate on the vowel sound. Bet, enter, edge, end. We move on to the next example. Again a short vowel but with a different sound. Correct. America. Attend. Parade. This sound that you hear in words like correct America is a very weak vowel and it is also called a schwava. Let us look at the fifth example of a monophtha. Bull. Full. Foot. This is a short vowel. Repeat after me. Bull. Full foot. Look at your screen and repeat after me. This is a long vowel now. Cool, zoom, rule, zoo. You can say, we had a cool zoom meeting to understand the rules of the zoo. It is the same sound that you find in cool, zoom, rule, zoo. We move on to the seventh monophthong sound as found in words like bird, earth, girl, prefer. You might be wondering why the letter R is also in red in words like bird, earth, girl. We do not pronounce the letter R when it is followed by a consonant or when it is the last letter of a word. So we have bird, earth, girl, prefer. The girl prefers the earth to the bird. We look at another example, short, August. Order, thought. Repeat with me to practice the vowel sound. Short, August, order, thought. I thought an order was issued in August. Let us look at more examples of monophthongs. On your screen are some words. 
Watch those words carefully and repeat after me. Bat, cat, rat, ad, van. Please repeat. Bat, cat, rat, ad, van. There is another short vowel there. Bus, up, ugly, utter. I repeat. Bus, up, ugly, utter. If you're comfortable, let's move on to the other two types of monophthongs. On your screen, you see words like arts, army, arm, balm. You also see words like office, got, hot. When we utter the word arts, the vowel is a long vowel. Pay attention. Arts, army, arm, balm, fast, jar. Please repeat with me. Arts, army, arm, balm, fast, and jar. An example of a short monophthon as in office, got, hot, I repeat. Please repeat along with me. Concentrate on the vowel sounds where the letter is highlighted in red. Office, got, hot, shot. With this, we come to the end of the 12 monophthongs. Let us now look at the diphthongs in English. As I told you a little while ago, there are eight diphthongs in English. These are also known as vowel glides because the position of the tongue shifts from one to the other. In general, all diphthongs are combination of two vowels in the same syllable. Let us look at these sets of diphthongs. There are three types of diphthongs that close in the front. I will read the three sets of example. On your screen, as I read, you will see the symbol for the particular diphthong. Say, me, fake. If you notice, you find a gliding movement of the tongue. It is not stationary. It moves from uttering one sound and quickly moves on to the other sound. So there is a gliding movement. I repeat, say, me, fake. The next set of examples, I, my, buy. You notice how the tongue glides inside your mouth? The third set of examples, these are all closing in front. Voice, joy, boy. Please repeat. Voice, joy, boy. Now we look at diphthongs that close at the back. Two sets of examples. As I utter these words, you will find the symbol being reflected on your screens. Old, load, own. Please repeat with me. Old, load, own. The second set of diphthongs is house, how, out. House, how, out. Now we look at the last set of diphthongs. These are the centering diphthongs. Here you have three sets again. Watch the symbol carefully as I read out the words. Cheer, fear, cheer, fear. Notice the symbol again as I utter the words fair, chair, fair, chair. The last set of the centering diphthongs. Twa, sure, poa. Twa, sure, poa. An easy way to practice this is on your smartphones. You just type the word, add meaning, and then click on the sound icon so you can hear the pronunciation of these diphthongs. So in this lesson today, we learned about the 12 monophthongs and the 8 diphthongs. We told you how the monophthongs are pure vowels and the diphthongs are also called gliding vowels because the tongue glides from one sound to the other sound. We have tried to practice the sounds of the monophthongs and the diphthongs. It is not easy for anyone to master all the sounds in one class. The more you practice, the better you will be able to utter the English sounds very comfortably. I hope you will go on practicing these sounds with your classmates, with your academic counselor at the Learner Support Center, or if you wish, feel free to contact the coordinators at the university headquarters.
So this is about it for today's class. When we meet again in the next class, we shall learn more about the classification and description of vowel sounds. Thank you for joining us.